Hello and um, welcome to EuroPractice, this webinar series on silicon photonics. I'm Ramzi Salim and um, from Tyndall National Institute, part of EuroPractice services where we work on the full range of silicon photonics from design to fabrication, advanced packaging and system integration. But uh, before we begin today's really interesting talk, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I'll, there is a Q&A button that you can all use to ask your questions. So you just kind of click there and it will get listed. And then we will have a focus session at the end after the keynote talk, where we'll answer and try to address your, your, all your questions and answer them. Um, so this webinar is dedicated to AMF technologies. Later on, I'll tell you how you can access them through your practice services more precisely through our fellow Europractice partner, CMP. And um, but without further ado, we have with us today, all the way from Singapore, Dr. Shansho Lau. Okay, thanks a lot for the introduction and uh, for the invitation. I'm Xian Shu from Singapore Advanced Micro Foundry. Today, I want to introduce AMF silicon photonics technology for commercialization. AMF is a spin-off from IME A-Star and is a dedicated silicon photonics foundry. So we provide silicon photonics wafer fabrication aiming for various applications such as optical uh, intercollection, data communication, LIDAR, uh, quantum communication, and so forth. So AMF uh, can provide uh, different uh, integration platforms, but however, uh, there's a three base, uh, baseline platforms. So here we show the most common uh, SOI integration flow, which includes all kinds of passive and active devices used for silicon photonics. This is the integration flow we de developed and used for more than 10 years already. Considering the benefits of low uh, waveguide loss, we also developed the silicon, silicon light high platform. So we can integrate multiple silicon nitride wave guiders in the same wafer using either LPCVD or PECVD silicon nitride. Heat is also integratable for thermal durability. Aiming for different uh, applications, we have developed various silicon, silicon nitride platforms with different uh, silicon nitride cyclists. So the operation wavelengths spans from uh, visible light to meter uh, in breadth. The loss performance are also uh, comparable with the demonstration from other foundries. In order to leverage uh, both silicon and the silicon nitride advantages, we developed the silicon nitride. Uh, sorry, we developed the silicon nitride uh, on SOI platform. So the main purpose is to use SOI to provide high-speed active devices while using uh, low-loss silicon nitride for various larger-scale light routing. By, lighting coupling, uh, by light, uh, light coupling vertically uh, between silicon layer and the silicon nitride layer, the integration can be released without changing the individual device design, but remain the similar performances. So here we show the results of the vertical uh, SSC for both LPCVD and the PECVD silicon nitride to silicon waveguide coupling. So the loss is less than 0.2 dB per transit. Based on, based on these uh, integration platforms, AMF devote, devotes great efforts for PDK development. So we have released the PDK 3.1 with the application targets of 100 gig per lane data communication and LIDAR. In this PDK library, we have included uh, 57 cells for both silicon and silicon nitride devices. We also collaborate with different uh, PDK vendors for PDK development, including Lucida, Numerical, Mental, and uh, uh, so forth. For instance, we collaborated with Lucida and developed the AMF PDK library in the IP case environment. As examples, we will show some of the AMF PDK cells along with the performances. 
For light coupling, we have designed various edge couplers and also grating couplers, especially for our proprietary designed uh, suspended couplers for both O band and C band. The loss could be as low as 1.5 dB per facet with larger alignment tolerance. Another key component is the thermal tunable phase shift. In AMF PDK 3.1, we have two different designs with different performances. For the conventional design, the speed could be relatively high, while the thermal efficiency is lower. In contrast, we have another design which can reach very high thermal efficiency, but with the trade-off of low speed. Customers can, based on the actual, perform, uh, actual application, to select different PDK cells. We also developed the high-speed Maxander modulators with different lengths for different performance targets. For, for instance, here we show the typical performance of a Maxander modulator with two millimeter lengths. The bandwidth can reach 40 gigahertz with three, three volt bytes which can support 100 gig per lane application. High-speed germanium photo detector is also included. For typical germanium photo detector, the dark current could be as low as a few tenths of nano ampere. The responsivity uh, at 1550 nanometer can be larger than 0.85 amp ampere per watt, with larger than 37 uh, gigahertz bandwidths. For wafer fabrication, process control is the key. In order to control the fabrication quality, we design various process control monitoring structures for various measurement. The table list, list uh, but not limited the potential structures for such process control uh, and the metrology data, data taking. Some of the process parameters which we measured from AMF MPW wafers are shown here including such as the silicon cyclis for different waveguides, the waveguide CD parameters, and also the loss of performances. So the results shows very good uh, process control and also replayability from run to run. As for foundry service, we provide two, tip, uh, two types of fabrication service, which are MPW and the customized run. MPW flow is the most standardized integration flow in AMF. It shares the GDS design area uh, among different customers. Thus, it is normally has limited process variance in order to fulfill the requirements from uh, various customers. Instead, for customized run, customer can discuss together with AMF to finalize the integration flow with various DOE splits such as implantation condition change, germania cyclist change, uh, multiple wave guiders, and also even include the packaging and the fiber assembly. So here uh, is the general engagement process flow between foundries and the designers for the fabrication service, which starting from the design uh, towards the DIC, mask fabrication, wafer fabrication, and finally, goes for the test. So finally, I want to take this opportunity to thank all of our current and former colleagues for their hard work to develop the silicon photonics technology to current stage. We especially thank all the industry partners for building the silicon photonics capabilities demands together with AMF. Thank you so much. That's a very interesting talk. Um, and um, uh, I already see some questions coming there and I've got some questions myself. Uh, but before we jump into um, the Q&A session, uh, let me just tell you a bit about how you or how uh, folk listening can access these fantastic technologies that um, Dr. Lau has been talking about. Um, so you can visit our website, uh, the Europractice website, where you can find the full AMF technologies offered through CMP uh, who are part of your practice and, and they can support from design and fabrication of a range of components uh, that uh, Dr. Lau has kind of mentioned, like modulators, detectors, ridge waveguides, grating couplers. You've seen some multiplexers there as well, and filters, and that's just naming a few. There's some really good stuff there. 
Um, yeah. So after you've chosen your technology that you want to work with, you can contact CMP's Francois Bertolet and his contacts um, are on the next slide. Um, and, and, and on this here, you'll be able to also see on the website AMF's MPW schedule run. So for example, you can see that the next run is uh, the 4th of November, and that's the last one in 2020 that you can have access to through your practice. Um, and the deadline, that is the 4th of November. So you need to make sure that you're submitting it uh, before then. In fact, we highly recommend that your GDS file is registered, even if it's a draft, with, um, with CMP at least two weeks before the deadline. Again, feel free to contact CMP's Francois Bertolet on francois.bertolet at mycmp.fr. Uh, and now we're kind of open to um, the Q&A session. We'll open